Welcome to the Fact TV channel. On this occasion, we will discuss about the journey and a brief story of Rome, Italy.
serves as the country's capital. Furthermore, Rome is commune in Italy and the regional capital of Lazio. It also acts as the center of government for the metropolitan city of Rome. Italy's version of a township or municipality is called a commune, which is a local division. After provinces and regions, it is Italy's third-level administrative division. 2,860,009 people live in Rome, a city of 1,285 square kilometer. Rome sits in the center of the Italian peninsula, on the Tiber River, roughly 15 miles 24 kilometers inland from the Tyrrhenian Sea. Rome is the eternal city, once the capital of an ancient republic and empire whose armies and polity defined the Western world in antiquity and left seemingly indelible imprints thereafter. The spiritual and physical seat of the Roman Catholic Church, and the site of major pinnacles of artistic and intellectual achievement.
the city's personality. Far, far over a century, Rome oversaw the fate of every civilization known to Europe. Yet it eventually fell into breakdown and disrepair. By the late Middle Ages, Rome had been physically maimed, economically mobilized, politically senile, and militarily powerless. But it remained a world power as a concept. The power of Rome, the lawgiver, teacher, and builder, persisted across Europe. Although the Pope's position was sometimes unstable from the 6th through the 15th centuries, Rome knew grandeur as the fountainhead of Christianity and gradually regained its power and wealth, re-establishing itself as a place of beauty, a source of learning, and a metropolis of the arts. Rome's modern history illustrates the long-standing conflict between the papacy's spiritual primacy and the political power of the Italian state capital. Rome was the latest city-state to join a unified Italy, and it only did so under duress, following an invasion by Italian soldiers in 1870. Following that, the Pope sought sanctuary in the Vatican. The new state designated Rome was the capital of Italy despite protestations from Florence which had been the capital since 1865, and the city was packed with ministries and barracks. Nonetheless, the Catholic Church continued to reject Italian authority until a deal with fascist ruler Benito Mussolini was achieved in 1929 when both Italy and Vatican City accepted the sovereignty of the other. Meanwhile, Mussolini developed a personality cult that threatened the Pope, and his fascist party attempted to recreate the glories of Rome's imperial past with a huge public works program. Politics continued to dominate Rome's agenda after Mussolini's collapse and the horrors of World War II when the city was occupied by Germans though regionalism began to shift. Some political authority away from the capital in the 1980, economically lagging behind Milan and Turin, Rome has remained on the periphery of the Italian and European economies. It has also suffered from chronic housing shortages and transportation congestion. However, greater attempts were made in the late 20th and early 21st centuries to overcome Rome's infrastructure challenges and to encourage a Roman cultural resurgence.
Sight Landscape of Rome. The Campania, or Roman countryside, was one of the last areas of central Italy to be populated in antiquity. Rome was built atop a fortified hill that controlled the last downstream, high-banked river crossing, where a midstream island East Tiber transit. Palatine Hill was one of a set of hills, generally reckoned as seven, that surrounded the ancient city, the Capitoline, Quirinal, Viminal, Esquiline, Caelian, and Aventine or the other hills.
Aegino, a west breeze that originates from the Tyrrhenian Sea, regularly cools Rome's hot, dry summer days, with maximum temperatures typically exceeding 75 Fahrenheit 24 Celsius. The city receives around 30 inches 750 mm of precipitation each year, with the rainiest seasons being spring and fall. Frosts and minor snowfalls break up the usually mild winters, with maximum temperatures hovering barely over 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. In the winter, the Tramontana, a chilly, dry wind from the north, blows across the city.
the city. The old core of Rome is split into 22 regions districts, the names of which date back to classical times, while 35 quartier urbani urban sectors surround it and were legally included in the municipality after 1911. Six significant suburbs are located on the city's western and northwestern outskirts. A belt highway about 6 miles 10 km from the city center describes a vast circle around the capital, connecting the old via roads that went to ancient Rome, including the Via Appia known in English as the Appian Way, the Via Aurelia, and the Via Flaminia. Masses of few apartment complexes are sprouting up beyond the city center, where current development is less noticeable. Indeed, historic city walls are still part of Rome's city center, which is popular with tourists. The Servian Wall, named after the 6th century BCE Roman monarch Servius Tullius but probably definitely completed 12 years after the Gauls destroyed Rome in 390 BCE, surrounded most of the Aesquiline and Paleon hills, as well as all of the other five. It was erected inside ramparts dating back to the early Roman Republic. Despite the fact that Rome outgrew the Servian defenses, no new walls were built until the Emperor Aurelian began construction in brick-based concrete in 270 CE. The Aurelian Wall is approximately 12.5 miles 20 bar kilometers long and girdles around 4 square miles 10 square kilometers. In addition to thousands of offices, restaurants, and bars, the old city contains hundreds of hotels and more than 200 palazzi palaces. Several of the city's major parks, the residence of the Italian president, the houses of parliament, offices of local and national government, and the great historical monuments. Many of Rome's treasures can no longer be seen where they were originally placed. Many can only be seen in other cities around the world, and many others still in Rome represent conquest schools brought to the city from around the ancient world or the cannibalization of one age or fate. Age upon the creations of an earlier one.
the Gauls formed Rome in 390 BCE, followed by the Visigoths in 410 CE, the Vandals in 455, the Normans in 1084, and the forces of Holy Roman Emperor Charles V in 1527. In 846, Muslims lay siege to it. The Great Fire of Rome took Nero's place in 64 CE, and flames and earthquakes destroyed individual structures or entire districts on a regular basis over the millennia. But, of all these scourges, the stripping of antiquities structures for construction materials, particularly from the 9th through the 16th centuries, devastated more of classical Rome than any other factor. The historical riches that has survived in Rome is unrivaled in any western metropolis. and its surrounds. The Via del Carso is the major roadway in central Rome, and it has been an important highway since classical times when it was the Via Flaminia, a path to the Adriatic. Its current name is derived from horse races course that were held as part of the Roman carnival celebrations. The Carso extends from the foot of the Capitoline Hill to the Piazza del Popolo and through a gate in the city wall, the Porta del Popolo, to reclaim its historic name. Such is the city trip and the short story of Rome, Italy, thank you. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and turn on notifications, thank you.